Falls today. We've got the kids with us, pulled them all out of school, and we're just setting up the tent. So we plan on fishing. We've got our buddy Jeremy Charles here with us and his son Hank. So um, it's going to be a nice little crowd of us down on the river. And hopefully a few fish. Yeah, we're hoping for fish. And it's a beautiful sunny day. It's like 30 degrees. Lots of flies. Two flies, <laughs> and it's never a quick trip when you have all the kids to get out the door. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. You do it, Terry. I almost hit my finger. So we're going to fish for a couple hours. We're gonna yeah, cook. we're going to take the kids down. Cook a little meal when we come up off the water for supper. And uh, well, I don't get, I don't have to cook this time. So yeah. Jeremy's gonna cook a nice We're meal really for us. Really lucky to have Jeremy here. One of the probably the top chef in Canada, and he's gonna. I think he's brought his pizza oven. He's gonna make some pizzas for the kids. I'm looking forward to getting fishing to be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna put my kids to work now and get them to set up the tents. Big Falls is located at Sir Richard Squires Memorial Park on the west coast of Newfoundland. Outside of the shelter, of this rock, you want to make sure that you are holding on to somebody or walking very slowly, two feet on the ground, no forcing around right. in the water. So, everyone got to watch themselves, watch your fly, be careful, make sure you know where your fly is at all times, and watch people when you're casting. Okay? And don't be afraid to ask for help. If you feel like you're a little shaky out in the water, call out and someone will yeah, come get you. Yeah, someone will okay? come and bring you in or help you get in yeah. because buddy waiting is way easier than signal waiting in heavy water. Yeah. Got it? Mom's going to put on a couple of flies for you. Yeah, can we dry fly or wet fly? Uh, wet fly. I would do do you want to do boys versus girls? Yes, yeah. yes. We have Terry though. He's like the best one. Yeah, he is actually really good. Oh, uh, we got me. Sorry. Hey, I'm good too though. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Second best. There's nothing better than having the kids out on the water with me and hearing them laugh. Hank cooks the first fish of the day in the trickiest little spot, and with his dad's help, he handles it like a pro. Wet your hands, Hank. All right, so wet hands. We gotta keep them faced up river, and you're not gonna squeeze tight, okay? Really, really loose, 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 loose. Okay. On his tail and, and underneath under his, his belly. Under his belly, and you don't want to take him out of the, take his head out or anything because he needs to breathe. There you go. Man, that was deadly. High five. One zero. Hey, high five. Good job. 
This show was proudly sponsored by Outdoor Pros. For all your hunting and fishing needs, check out their website, outdoorpros.ca. Jeremy Charles is one of the top chefs in Canada. We're so happy to have him here with us this week. We can't wait to try some of his food, and as always, we'll enjoy our fishing. Fishing is our true passion, and it's so nice when we can share it with friends that enjoy it as much as we do. Okay, so once you cast your line, just let it, Hibbe, I think you just rose a fish. Yeah, so cast like towards Terry. Same amount of line. Oh, watch your hook. And when you see something come up, you gotta pull. Okay, make the cast again. Yeah, right there. You'll watch for the the head to come up. So just keep making that cast over and over. There's a fish out there. A little further out. Yeah. Good. That's it. That's a good cast. Let me see what you got going on. Oops. Okay, so you're gonna wet fly on. You're gonna cast it out like this. Not like that. And let it swing all the way down through. And then you can add a little bit and make another cast. Okay, and you're gonna keep your tip you down low to the fly? ground. There we go. And then you let it swing all the way in. Okay, add a little more. Good job, cast it out. Very nice. And then you let it swing all the way in because the fish, even though you think they wouldn't be right in here by you, they do, they come in here because it's a little bit easier swimming. So you don't have to be out deep to catch a fish. Um, so cast out like towards the other shore and then let it swing down and then you get a longer cast. You just want to make sure you don't cast over Nevaeh's line. There's another little run coming through, I think. It's always good to check the water temperature when you're fishing because uh, if it's too warm, it's not good for catching fish. So once it hits 20... 21 degrees. Is our warm water protocol 21 degrees? Yep. 21 degrees, you gotta call it a day. Oh, we're good. It's only 15. We are using non-product rods today the original and the Ren series in six, seven, and eight weights and nine to 10 foot lengths. There's a lot of us, so I'll keep it pretty general. We're pairing them with a really light, large arbor reel. It's a, a Waterworks Lampson, and we're using weight forward floating fly lines. We make our own tapered leaders about 10 to 15 feet in length um, with an eight pound tippet. All the flies are single hook, barbless, and they're not weighted. Oh, I got one. <laughs> hey, Terry. Terry. <laughs> yeah, come on down.
That's a slipper. She's the other way. Let's get this if we get the fly out. Okay, can I? Bleep. I was scared that they'll bite or something. Or I got the too. net, so. Oh my god! Can I? Just let him go? Yeah, good Ew. job! That was go. awesome! Good job, King. And good job, Kingston. That was a good job playing that bitch. Vea has spent some time working on her cast and presentation, so it's nice to see it pay off. We're going to get into the quieter water so that it's easier to bring the fish in. Okay, reel it in. And you don't want to go too shallow, so you want to keep it kind of deep, but you're not, um, you're not out in the main thing. So we're gonna net the fish. You're gonna come here. No, you you bring it in. Now he's gonna be scared of the net, so we're gonna go this way. Shoop, shoop, shoop. I'm trying to. Which way are you putting it? I'm putting it back in here. Can I get it? No, you wait right there now. I see it. Grab it. He's right there. I know. <laughs> so we. Look. Whoa. It's right there. Good job! Okay, wait, hold on. So, we're gonna keep it in here. Okay, back up, please. There you go. We're gonna get the fly out. Good job, Nevea. Okay, now I got the fly out, finally. Now, Cassie. I know how. I just wanted to make sure this is all out. So if you're going to touch the fish, you're going to make sure that your hands are wet. And you're going to hold it on the tail and underneath the belly. Is he going to pull but, it bite? No, it won't bite you. But don't squeeze, OK? How the hell? Because I don't know. We'll let How Cassie do, do this, this one. So there you go. And one on the tail. And nice and slow. That's a beautiful fish. We should just okay. let it go. <laughs> That's what you're doing. No, like, just I go from the net. Okay, now we dip this down. Mm -hmm. Good. So you're gonna under the belly, there you go. And keep him in the water so he can breathe. And you face oh. him up, River. Okay, right, good. There you go. Good hey, job. Disgusting. <laughs> That's awesome. High five. Way to go on the net. Nice work. Nevea, that was an awesome job playing the fish. <laughs> Good job. That feels weird. <laughs> That's their slime coating. Yeah, That's why it's important to wet your hands before you touch them so you don't take that off so it stays on the fish. So you, That's why you can feel it a little bit. We are proud to partner with Marble Mountain offering four seasons of off-water activities. You can find them at skimarble.com. Special thanks to our partner, Coleman's.ca, feeding families in Newfoundland and Labrador since 1934. Hummer River is one of the best Atlantic salmon rivers in North America. I just love fishing this river. It's early in the season, so the fish are sporadic, 
you get a school might pass through in this great water and then they're usually gone and you got to wait for another school to show up. The good news is you can usually see these fish as they move through and once you see a fish move or a couple of fish move down river it's not long before usually someone hooks up. Kind of lift, lift, lift. I'm lifting. Yep. I'm lifting. He's coming right there. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Uh, let him go. Yep. Let him go. That's okay. You can let it. You let okay, it go. A little bit more. Good job. A little bit more. Oh, he's strong. He is strong, eh? Okay, I'm gonna try to get him before I get more. No, no. You, you gotta keep your because if you get him in too close, it'll tangle up in him. Okay, reel down towards them. Just kind of reel down and then lift up. Okay, now lift up. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Oh. Ah! Jeez, oh. she's strong! He is strong, eh? Do you want me to hold the thing? No, nope, let him go. Okay, reel a bit more, reel a bit more. Hold up. Now try to stay still so that lift this up. fish doesn't lift get up. scared away from us. Get up! Oh, he's going to get him, boys. Good job. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Good job. Good job. Woo! Just turn him around. Turn him around. Can you see? Like that? Yeah, yeah. You ready? Turn him around. Turn, turn. You got to turn him around. Yeah. Oh, 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 too late. He's gone. gone <laughs> good job. He swam there off go. so and nice. You did a really good job playing that fish. He did. Sure good, job. good job. Who did what? Teamwork. Take the Good job. So we're just up from the river and uh, it was a really nice afternoon. Only one fell in. And now we're just going to head down to Jeremy's campsite and have a bit of uh, supper. So it'll be good. Maybe there's a, a fly tent there get in out of it a little bit. Yeah, but it's a really nice evening on the water. Had some couple fish, so it was a huge success, definitely. And I just can't believe how nice it was to fish and hear them laughing in on the beach. It's awesome. They might come with me again. <laughs> So I don't think we're gonna run out of dough. No, definitely not. Nevea made a double batch this morning too, so. So we're, we're in good shape, eh? You guys don't mind if I throw it up to see the deal? You go right ahead. No, I'm just joking. Come on. I don't do that. <laughs> These skills are like pedestrian. <laughs> Look at that thin cross, beautiful. This is your pizza though, we're putting it to the test. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> you did a good job, Nevaeh. great, looks That quick? Well, How would you die? Well. It's a thousand degrees. Yeah. The pizza wheel here. Uh, Big Falls Pizzeria. Oh, <laughs> and it smells so good. Like
For this episode, we are proud to partner with Coleman's Grocery, Coleman's.ca, Marble Mountain, SkiMarble.com, and Outdoor Pros, OutdoorPros.ca. For more information on fly fishing in Newfoundland and Labrador, check out our website, TightLoopsTightLines.com. <laughs>